Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mythical Stories, where we explore the fascinating tales of ancient gods and heroes. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most powerful and influential deities in Greek mythology, Poseidon, the king of the sea. But before we dive into his story, let me ask you a question. Do you know what Poseidon's symbol is? If you said a trident, you are right. A trident is a three-pronged spear that Poseidon used to control the water, the waves, and the earthquakes. He could also create storms, floods, and tsunamis with his trident, and he was feared by sailors and fishermen alike. But Poseidon was not only the god of the sea, he was also the god of horses and earthquakes, and he had a very interesting and complicated life. So let's get started and learn more about Poseidon the ruler of the ocean. Poseidon was born from the union of Cronus and Rhea, two of the titans who ruled the world before the gods. Cronus was afraid that his children would overthrow him, so he swallowed them as soon as they were born. But Rhea managed to save her youngest son, Zeus, and hid him away from Cronus. When Zeus grew up, he freed his siblings from Cronus's stomach, and they fought a war against the Titans. The gods won the war, and they divided the world among themselves. Zeus became the king of the sky, Hades became the lord of the underworld, and Poseidon became the master of the sea. Poseidon built a magnificent palace under the water, called Ege, where he lived with his wife Amphitrite, a sea nymph, and his son Triton, who was half man and half fish. Poseidon also had many other children, both divine and mortal. But one of his most famous offspring was Pegasus, the winged horse. Pegasus was born from the blood of Medusa, a beautiful woman who was turned into a snake-haired monster by Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war. Athena was angry with Medusa because she had an affair with Poseidon in her temple, and she cursed her to have a hideous appearance and a deadly gaze. Anyone who looked at Medusa would turn to stone, and she was hunted by many heroes, until Perseus, Another son of Poseidon managed to cut off her head with the help of a magic shield and a sword. Poseidon had many conflicts with other gods and mortals, and he was often involved in wars and disputes. One of his most famous rivalries was with Athena, who competed with him for the patronage of the city of Athens. They agreed to have a contest where each of them would offer a gift to the people of Athens, and the people would choose the best one. Poseidon struck his trident on a rock and created a saltwater spring while Athena planted an olive tree. The people chose Athena's gift as more useful and named the city after her. Poseidon was furious, and he flooded the city and made the soil barren. He also sent a sea monster called Cetus to attack the kingdom of Ethiopia, where Queen Cassiopeia boasted that her daughter Andromeda was more beautiful than the sea nymphs. Andromeda was chained to a rock as a sacrifice until Perseus rescued her and killed Cetus with Medusa's head. Poseidon was also a major player in the Trojan War, a legendary conflict between the Greeks and the Trojans, who fought over the beautiful Helen, the wife of the Greek king Menelaus, who was abducted by the Trojan prince Paris. Poseidon sided with the Greeks because he was angry with the Trojans for not paying him for building their walls. He helped the Greeks by stirring the sea, causing earthquakes and inspiring the warriors. He also opposed Zeus, who favored the Trojans, and he disobeyed his orders several times. After the war, Poseidon punished one of the Greek heroes, Odysseus, who had blinded his son Polyphemus, a one-eyed giant who lived on an island. Poseidon made Odysseus wander for ten years on his way back home, facing many dangers and obstacles, until he finally reached his wife Penelope and his son Telemachus. But Poseidon was not always a vengeful and violent god. He was also a benevolent and generous one who helped many heroes and civilizations. He created horses and gave them to mankind, and he was the patron of horse racing, which was a popular sport in ancient Greece. He also helped Theseus, the founder of Athens, who had to face the Minotaur, a half-man and half-bull creature who lived in a labyrinth on the island of Crete. Poseidon gave Theseus a white bull as a sign of his favor, and he also made the sea calm for his voyage. He also helped Jason, the leader of the Argonauts, who went on a quest to find the Golden Fleece, a magical sheepskin that was guarded by a dragon. Poseidon sent a dolphin to guide Jason's ship, the Argo, and he also made the sea nymphs sing to lull the dragon to sleep. He also helped the Minions, a tribe of people who lived in Boeotia and were plagued by a drought. Poseidon made a river flow from a rock, and he also taught them how to build ships and sail the sea. 
Poseidon was a loyal brother to Zeus and Hades, and he helped them fight against the enemies of the gods, such as the Titans, the Giants, and Typhon, a monstrous serpent who tried to overthrow Zeus. Poseidon used his trident to defeat many foes, and he also joined forces with other gods, such as Apollo, Hermes, and Athena. He was respected and worshipped by many people, who built temples and shrines for him and offered him sacrifices of bulls, horses, and fish. He was also honored in many festivals, such as the Neptunalia, which was celebrated in July by the Romans, who called him Neptune. He was a complex and powerful god who ruled over the sea and influenced many aspects of life in ancient Greece. He was feared and revered by many, and his stories reflect the awe and wonder that the Greeks had for the ocean and its mysteries. So that was the story of Poseidon, the king of the sea. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more mythical stories every Monday and Thursday. Also, don't forget to leave a comment and tell me what you think about Poseidon and what other stories you would like to hear next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.